Hello, this video is made by Muhammad Amin Ganjabi and narrated by Nilufar Skandai from Hyper Lyceum Team. In this video, I'm going to explain how to simulate a three sheet connection through resistance spot welding and then we'll see the results. To start with, open Simufax software, click on New Project, type the name of the project as a spot weld, then OK. On the popped-up screen, select the process type as resistance spot welding, then put the ambient temperature at 20. In section components, change it to 3, clamping to 6, and C spot gone to 1. Finally, click on Apply, then on OK. Dimensions of the sheet are 125mm in length, 45 in width, and 8mm in height. The overlap is 45mm and the plates are on top of each other. The top and bottom materials are DC03 and the middle sheet is DC04. Examining the mesh size shows that it is 1 mm which is closer to the laboratory results that we can import into Simufact. We use Abacus to create and model the sheets and save those files as BDF extension. I'm not going to explain them but you could download the files from our website link in description and on top of the video. Now right click on Geometrics, click on Import Item and then select the three sheets at 1mm, mm BDF, 1mm, 2mm BDF and 1mm, 3mm BDF and open them. Again, you could find these files on our website. On the created geometry import part, then change the length unit from meter to millimeter. Then check the box up use units for all meshes. Finally, click on OK. Now you can see the sheets that have been created under the assemblies item. What you need to do is drag one millimeter, three millimeters into the component three. Now you see the sheets and meshes. Dragging and dropping 1 mm in mm into the component item on the left side of the panel will show you the next sheet. Right clicking on the sheets, you can find object manipulation, then you should click on translation through that. With this option, we can place the sheets on top of each other and prepare them for welding process. Under the part direction, set the value of X to 1.0. Next, in the moving section, change the step size unit from meter to millimeter with a value of 100.0. Then click on move and close. Now drag and drop 1 millimeter, 2 millimeters sheet into component 2 item on the left side. As you could see here, we set the room temperature at 20. Here you need to import the materials through the materials option. By selecting import, you can see the materials as they're uploaded on the website as well. Then choose and open them. As you see, the three materials have been created. At this part of the work, you should drag DC03 and DC04 into the process tree. DC03 into 1mm, 2mm, and DC04 into 1mm, 3mm, respectively. In the section, we model the clamp for each sheet. Right click on clamping and then select Generate Geometry. On the newly shown screen related to clamping, click on Details. In this part, first you need to change all the units of shape and position items from meter to millimeter. Then in the shape part, set the values of width, height, and depth to 2, 40, and 40 respectively. Move in position part and change X, Y, and Z to 10.8 and 22.5 respectively. Pay attention that all the values of direction part are zero with the units of meter. Let's switch the primitive section to set the mesh values up. Change slice x to 2 and slice y and z both to 40. Now the mesh and geometry are completed and you should click on OK. 
then by double clicking and clamping a new small screen will come into view where you need to change stiffness and the middle box to moving clamp. Later change this direction to manual and set Y on minus 1. The other two directions should be 0. Select the glue contact option and finally hit apply, then OK. Here we determine the location of the welding coordination. Right click on trajectories, then new point sequence. Now on the right side of the created screen, you see the green sign up plus. So click on that, then on top of the page, change the length you need to millimeter and orientation to local vector. Now under the spot weld coordinate section, Set the values of X, Y, and Z, 112.5, 0 0.8, and 22.5 respectively. Also, in the Z direction part, Y should be 1 and X and Z should be 0. Likewise, in X direction part, only X is 1 and the other two are 0. After these adjustments, click on Apply and then OK. We enter the welding parameters including the squeeze time, welding time, hold time, off time and force. Now you should check the following steps. Right click on welding parameters, new resistance welding parameter and in pop up the screen choose electrical parameters on the menu section. Edit clamp force table then click on the green plus sign twice. Now under the time x, change the values to 0 and 0 0.92 and in column clamp force set the values of both to 365. Finally choose apply and OK. Do the same for the electrical current table as we did for the clamp force table. Next part is C spot gone. From the object catalog, drag and drop the material copper alumina and both trajectory and resistance spot weld into the C spot gone. Now double click on C spot gone. In the new window, choose weld guns from the left side. Now select upper and lower electrical geometry and scroll it down until plus F03 and pick up F0, 16, 20, 8. Now apply and OK. Then you should enter the section solver and make the setting. So click on solver on the left side of the panel. Now in general settings, select strain tensors in the middle section of the window. Then move to the parallelization part and select parallelization and change number of cores to 4 in shared memory parallelization. In the time control section, change the analysis end time to 10 seconds. And also the values of welding and cooling under the results output, every nth increment part should be 5. In the refinement option, change the unit of radius R to millimeter and its value to 7. Now in electrical contact conductivity, go through film thickness and change both units from meter to millimeter and their measure to 0.001. At the end, click on apply and then on OK. Now the model is ready to start analyzing. By completing the analysis, you will be able to see the results. Afterwards, double click on results, then play the analysis. On top of the model panel, you can observe each of the items like effective stress, electrical potential, effective plastic strain, and more. To see the history plot, you can right-click on results and select it. Next, select clamping 2, which is defined by the violet color. There is also a second option through right-clicking on results. Choose UNV export. In the component part, for example, we select 1mm sheet 
and in the increment section select 86 at the end of the list and in the result values of this part for example choose stress then click on export if you see this it means the results are exported thank you for watching this video and till the next one bye this video was made by Amin Ganjami. To find his contact information and updated resume, please visit our website at hyperlyceum.com. Amin is an expert in CineFact, CSERT, PDMS, and some other engineering software. To find an online session and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email address under Amin's profile. The cost of projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We are looking forward to working